I've already shuffled and I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. The other two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go over the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So Aquarius, in the recent past we have express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And it's paired with choice. On the flip side of choice, it reads, for every action there is a reaction. So choose wisely. So in the recent past, you probably wanted to express your love to someone. You wanted to. You felt it was time to open up and just tell them how you feel. And it was a very loving feeling. And you couldn't hold back any longer. So you just let, let the words come out and you made a choice. And you knew that for every action, which was the choice that you made to speak, there would have been a reaction. So you made sure the words were chosen really careful before you expressed your love to someone in the recent past. So that's how you went about it. And um, if this isn't you, this could have been someone that uh, was coming to you like that. But I'm picking up that this was you, Aquarius. You wanted to really let someone know how you felt. And you were probably a little bit afraid. So you thought about it and you made the choice to go ahead and accept whatever reaction that, that was the outcome. And so that's what we have for the recent past. Now let's move on over and take a look at the present time. We have the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So the Queen of Swords, it can point to a woman in your life. Keep in mind, this woman, she's, she is one who is not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. If this is not an actual person, it can point to a time when you'll need to be very forceful and probably really honest in some situation just to get your needs met. You may need to put your foot down at this time because the Queen of Swords it can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. This Queen is, a, like I said, it's a very forceful energy. And a lot of people will find it really abrasive. When this Queen of Swords talks about love and relationships, the only caution is that you'll need to beware of the impulse to be too forceful. We've all, you've probably heard that saying that you get more bees with honey than you will with vinegar. Well, there's some truth to this. And also about this Queen of Swords, there could be a mother or a mother-like figure who may want to interfere in your relationship at this time, whether she means to or not. So you need to figure out where your boundaries lie with this person and let her know. The Queen of Swords is paired with the Knight of Wands. Now with the Knight of Wands, it's a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. You're going to be feeling really charged up and full of energy and ready to get a lot of things done. Your self-confidence is likely to be increasing and should help you reach your goals at this time. Also, keep in mind the knights, they're about message. They're message bearers. And the messages are positive messages. Um, it could be related to work, career, family, or love. They're very positive messages coming in. And your projects, if you have any, they're likely to be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. You'll have a lot of reasons to feel pride at this time, so you want to savor it. When this Knight of Wands is talking about love and relationships, you may meet someone new through your work. You, uh, the new, this new person, they'll probably have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum with this Knight of Wands, but it could go either way. And if you're already in a relationship, Aquarius, and you get this Knight of Wands, 
You need to be sure that your communication is as clear as it can be. Make it a point to make time to just talk to each other. Uh, a lot of communication is important. This, this will definitely improve your feelings of closeness substantially in a real big way. So for your present time, the King of S the Queen of Swords for your present time and the Knight of Wands, they're basically saying, paired together, is that there's um, some type of forceful energy that's coming in. Uh, it could be someone that you already know, or like I said, someone coming towards you like that, or this could be you. Very forceful energy. Um, like I said, the type that you don't want to mess with. And um, being that it's paired with the Knight of Wands, it's going to come in with a lot of um, energy. A whole lot of energy. A, um, a lot of confidence and some type of message. Yeah, it's going to come in from a person who's really brave and fearless also. This could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Yeah, it's going to come in really, probably really fast with this Knight of Wands and really sharp. But it's going to be po a positive some type of positive words you'll get from this Queen of Swords. Um, but just the way that it's going to come in, it's going to be charged up and full of energy. It's going to hit you like bam, you know. And it, like I said, it's going to be a forceful type of energy. But like I said, it's, it should be positive though. But it's just going to be probably overwhelming because it comes in really, like I said, charged up and really fast like you see this man he's riding on this this eagle or whatever that is and it looks like he's just oh maybe probably going 100 miles an hour if you can see that picture right below where it says present um, that's how it's coming in some type of sharp forceful energy like I said this could be you coming doing this could be you this forceful energy and you coming in at someone or a situation really, really fast and probably, uh, really fast and swift and fearless. And it's going to be forceful, but in a, but you're going to get something positive out of it because the Knights is positive. So that's what I have for your present time. Now let's move on down. And take a look at how they see you. The person that you're dealing with in this connection, um, they see you as the Six of Cups and the Moon card. Now, the Six of Cups, it's a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be connected with children or childhood. It's going to be important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that definitely, that'll become a self-fulfilling pro prophecy. When the Six of Cups is talking about love and relationships, if you're currently in a romantic relationship, this card indicates that the relationship it probably needs to be refocused towards the future. Talk about your goals and dreams, trying new things. It's important now not to stay stuck in the past. That's what I'm trying to say. On occasions, this card will signify the reappearance of a long lost love or probably an old lover in your life. But you'll need to think long and hard before restarting an old romance. Because we know exes, they're exes. They're usually access for a reason. So your person that you're dealing with in this connection, they see you as the Six of Cups. They see you probably spending too much time thinking about how this connection used to be. Okay. They see you reminiscing um, probably in an unhealthy way to how the relationship once was and you're not stepping into today into now 
um, how it is today. They see you as needing to refocus this connection into the future instead of holding on to what it was like when you first started. So they're hoping that you, you try some new things that are of the now and stop clinging to how things once were because the past is the past. And this Six of Cups is also paired with the Moon card. Now the Moon card, it points to a highly emotional time in, re in a relationship. Things can become heated, overheated or uncomfortable. Take a break if you need to. Don't make assumptions. Fight fairly if you're going to fight at all. Pick your bell battles and be sure to treat your lover as a friend. Don't be in a hurry to end or to begin a relationship. This is probably not the best time for either course of action. So once again, they see you as holding on to memories of the past, of this connection. And there's a need to um, not do that. They wish you wouldn't do that because, like I said, the past is the past, but they see you as clinging on to it in an unhealthy way. And because it's paired with this moon card, um, it's causing some uncomfortable moments in this connection. It's um, because you're, they see you as um, holding on to the past, it's um, causing some fights. And the fights can become overheated. And Um, they also probably think that you're holding on to someone from the past. They, they could be thinking that you're holding on to someone from the past. So it's with this moon card. Moon card is about deception a little bit, it could be. And so they, they might think that you're, they have some mistrusting feelings possibly about you. Maybe wanting to go back to the past. So that's another way that... Um, these two cards can be read together. So either you're holding on to memories about this connection in an unhealthy way, that's how they see you, and it's causing some relationship difficulties, or they see you as holding on to someone from the past. And they may have some um, trust issues with you because if they think you're holding on to someone from the past, then I don't know, maybe they think you're, you're wanting to go back to the past instead of staying with this connection. So it's causing maybe some trust issues and there's some uncomfortable, probably, well, uncomfortable fights or arguments. Things become quickly overheated. So that's how they see you. Now let's move on down and take a look at how you see them. The person you're dealing with in this connection, you're seeing them as the Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Now, the Five of Wands, it refers to competition. Usually, it could be work, career, family, or romance, but it's about competition. And sometimes it can be romantic rivals. Now, don't be afraid of competing with the, with the Five of Wands. Just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful too. But Keep in mind, you have to try to see results. When this card appears, your need to believe in yourself is stronger. It has to be stronger than ever now. Hold your head up high and have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could be thinking of making a career change at this time with this Five of Wands. Just know that you'll be successful at that too. But it's about competition. Okay, and when we're talking about love and relationships and you get the Five of Wands, the person that you have your eye set on, they may be being pursued by several people. If this is the case, give it your best shot. You need to know that you've done all that you can for this relationship where your heart is involved. This can also work the other way and mean that you're being pursued or going to be pursued by several 
interested people romantically. So you're seeing the person that you're dealing with in this connection as this Five of Wands. You see them as probably having a lot of suitors, um, or you see them as um, being pursued by several people. So there's probably some romantic rivals in this connection. Um, probably you feel that um, you see them as um, putting you in a situation that's competitive because of um, possibly several people that are interested in them. So you see them as having options. And being that it's paired with this Eight of Cups. Um, now to explain the Eight of Cups, you may decide that a long-term relationship is going to end. And if you're sure about this, don't wait for the right time. Because there's never a good time to tell someone that the relationship needs to be over. Don't jump into a new relationship either. Give yourself some time. Now that's what the Eight of Cups is about. So you see the person you're dealing with in this connection, Five of Wands and Eight of Cups, um, but potentially being pursued by several people. You see them as having a lot of options. So there's a struggle in this connection for dominance. And sometimes you two might not see eye to eye because of this Five of Wands. There is probably too much competition. You see them, you see them as having options and if, because this one has this eight of cups uh, you see them as possibly wanting to withdraw from this connection you see them as possibly wanting to walk away from this connection possibly retreat from this connection or move on from this connection you see them as possibly walking away and leaving behind this connection. That's what the Eight of Cups is. So, too many options and possibly walking away from this connection. That's how you see them. So, let's move on down and take a look at why it's all happening. Because of the Magician. And because of the Hangman. So, the Magician, it's a card that signifies new beginnings and great expectations. This card reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world, if we simply try to do so. You, just keep in mind, with the Magician, you will not, you, I'm sorry, let me re rephrase that. With this Magician card, you will not have it all handed to you on a plate but you have the potential to have that that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself because the magician is all about action if you do nothing you'll get nothing and if you don't know what to do then just do something because anything is better than nothing in other words if you do not try at this time you will not get now, when the magician is talking about love and relationships, it's a time when you're likely to meet someone new. Because, I say that because right now, someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Whether they find you or not, it's going to depend on you. So, make sure you're not sitting at home expecting Mr. or Mrs. Wright to walk up your garden path and knock on your door because we all know that probably won't happen. You need to be out there making yourself available to be found. And this is an excellent time to do just that. So get out there and meet people, socialize, talk to strangers. As uncomfortable as that can be sometimes. So why this is all happening? This is all happening because of... Because there is some... There's a power of manifestation in this connection. 
Either you or your person or both of you have it. That's really strong. When, you, when someone has the manifestation powers, um, a lot of things, someone can make a lot of things happen. Uh, someone can make new beginnings and a lot of uh, great expectations in this connection. And that's what somebody is doing, or the both of you. Um, because it's paired with the hangman, now the hangman is about letting go, letting go of an unattainable lover. That's an example. We'll bring about the possibility that you can be with, we'll bring about the possibility that someone you could actually be with will be there for you. But it's about letting go first. That's only one example. You may need to let go of a particular vision or a particular kind of relationship as being the only way you can be happy. If you're in a long-term relationship, that too may be at a crossroads. And if you think the relationship is great and fabulous, make sure you find out where your partner's head is and what's the state of their affairs. So, once again, why it's all happening, the magician and the hangman, Someone has um, someone has a lot of power in this connection, a whole lot of power. The magician is really strong. You can create a lot of stuff. Someone's got power, power and control. They know exactly what to do, and and they um, they do it, or maybe they don't do it because the magician is about if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you do something, you'll get the you'll get the whole the whole gamut. You'll get everything. So it's happening because of of um, of this uh, hangman. Also, um, someone or the both of you are at a crossroads about this connection. Should you stay? Should you go? Um, should you try to work on it? Should you not try to work on it? So someone could be manifesting to try to make the connection work or manifesting something. Someone could be trying to use some really strong powers that they have to possibly even walk away. Maybe someone's having a hard time walking away from this connection. So um, there's a little bit confusion right now with someone or maybe the both of you. Should you let go or, or what? And someone's trying to um, use, use some manifestation powers for either trying to stay or either trying to walk away or possibly some other option that that I'm not picking up on but uh, someone's got really good control or ability or some strong powers in this connection but they're unsure of how to use it so that is why it's all happening. So Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'm going to put a link below in the description box of the extended of this reading. I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Aquarius, happy birthday! I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. Once again, I'm Aquarius. I hope that you have a great day. I'm wishing you a beautiful February. And once again, I'm wishing you a very happy birthday. I am an Aquarius too, so I know what the month of February is like. 
So, blessings to you all, and once again, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to talking to you in the next reading. Have a great day. 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 Have a great day.